Here's some other evidence that we collected as data, and I just experienced sort of how it works when Patty talks about lying. It's impossible to lie, and and how that relates to records, record keeping, classrooms, report cards on classrooms, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But I experienced somebody who was not telling the truth, and the reason he was not telling the truth is because you're in an energy harvesting system, and they're trying to maintain what it is they're aware of an electron because they realize that if they tell the truth, is it going to matter whether you tell the truth or not because of the way the ticket books work with police officers? Okay, he was trying to save his energy because he realizes that a police officer represents what? An energy harvester. They're known as the regulators, like a voltage regulator. So all you have to do is measure the stress response, which is a response in the central nervous system when somebody experiences somebody driving around with a red light on their, on their vehicle or a symbol of a badge. You got to throw that data in there. Which means people are actually lying, not telling the truth in order to save their own energy. In order to maintain, if you will, their own accretion level, whatever level they're operating at. So in order to understand the full truth, which is the full record, okay, when you have a black cube that is designed to harvest energy inside of a planet off of everybody, and it comes to telling the truth, not telling the truth, pure, absolute, eternal love will expose all the crimes. Okay? That's called taking full responsibility for who we are in energy. Yeah? And that requires a full data analysis. So that's what we did. So it's not cut and dry. Okay. I know people that have had to, t to tell a lie in order to get a job done on behalf of the light. Right? Because otherwise you start telling the truth, you could compromise somebody, get others killed. You see how that works? The war deception, invisible landscape, surveillance technology, having to be faster than that, and how that works with frequency modulation to maintain what the law is. And why, when I was four years of age, anything that is less than what I am, which is what love is, goes on forever, gifting electrons at the highest rate of speed, I got to transmit it. But I can't transmit it if I don't experience it, which means I'm experiencing the lie. And the lie is being in fear of what love is. Right? And the willingness to let go. See, so when you're in an energy harvesting system, which is against the law, right? You see how that works when it comes to data collection. And allowing that to happen. That takes a permit, a permission, a permission slip. It was permitted, right? So the data doesn't lie. That's basic logic. That's what a cellular processor is, yeah. Right? Compilers, computers, codes, cellular processing membranes. So I thought I'd share that because I was experiencing, having to experience a guy who got stopped. And now he's trying to prevent himself from having to get a ticket. Right? Now he's got to pay out. You see how this works between quantum inverters and, qu and quantum accelerators. Right. And uh, so you, you got to maintain the balance between the poles. Right. Loss and gain of electrons to units of consciousness that have a relationship with each other. And, and that's a, a flawed system. It's a failure. So it's obvious because you're measuring broken circuits, broken circuits, which is broken speed, which is the circulation speed. And now we're back in accretion levels. And what it means to be fully integrated. Yeah. Now you're experiencing being one. Right? Which means you're experiencing not doing any harm to yourself or to others by the manner in which we communicate what it is we are in energy. Which is what love is, which is what the law is. So that's healing. Yeah.